Hi guys, so today I'm going to be sharing with you the haul of stuff that Eric and I picked up. This would have been the last yard sale footage video that you saw. Um, that's what most of this stuff is from, um, but then there are just like a couple of random pieces that I just threw into this haul. So the first thing that I have, I picked up at the one sale we went to was in this like old cigar factory. It was kind of cool. They had never had a yard sale before this was like the first time so I did pick up you saw I picked up like a white kind of milk glass eagle decanter it ended up being pretty chipped up it was really dark in there um Eric had noticed it so I did sit it back but I did grab this bowl set I thought this was so pretty so it comes with this really large bowl which would be perfect for a salad or um, popcorn or any kind of like snacks and this is by a company called Aladdin wear so it's like a plastic material um, with this really pretty uh, floral print all over and then it comes with three of these more individual sized bowls it's a shame there's only three I like even numbers when it comes to sets of stuff um but I just I couldn't say no to it because I thought it was so pretty I paid two dollars for this set and I listed it as a buy it now for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents so I thought it was really cute at that same yard sale Eric picked up these glass bear uh, salt and pepper shakers these are called spicy bear they say spicy bear on the back of them and these are like a really pretty kind of amberina color they do glow a little bit um on more of like the yellow areas so really nice set of salt and pepper shakers we did pay five dollars for these and again listed these as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents at one yard sale i picked up this really small this is an ellie smith uh, moon and stars just like little open salt cellar so really cute I had never seen one of these before like out and about and it was only 25 cents so I decided to pick it up and I listed it for ten dollars so got that and then at the same sale we found this green glass um, canister set these are by Wheaton glass really pretty green and then the tops of them have this kind of like floral design to them they have a really nice shape so these would be great for like spices and stuff like that because they're on their smaller side and then they go down some of them do have like the little seal on the lids but some don't um so it was these two which are the larger of them all and then it goes down to these sizes here and then so there's one that does have the seal in that size and then there's two and these might never have had seals um, but these just have the, the tops on them so they'd be good for like salt or pepper that type of thing to easily get into them um, so that whole set we paid what did we pay for those we paid five dollars for that whole set and we listed it as the entire set for a buy it now of $34.99. Um, got this, got this set of Care Bears Christmas ornaments. These are so cute. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So a set of five of these little Care Bears Christmas ornaments. We pay $1 for these and I listed them as a buy it now for the lot of them, um, $19.99. They're from 2007. This clown, this is a vintage clown ornament. He was in a bag of some Christmas stuff that I got. He is marked Noel Japan on his little sticker and he's bendable so you can like pose him. Kind of like those um, knee hugging pixie elves but he is a clown. So I paid... I think I paid a dollar for the bag that he was in and I'll show you what else was in that bag um, towards the end of the video. So um, listed him as a buy it now for $9.99. Got a set of vintage strawberry shortcake curtains at a yard sale. They have the um, like the pleating at the top for the curtain ties. 
and I know it's going to be kind of hard to see, but these are vintage strawberry shortcake curtains. I paid a dollar for the pair of them, and I listed these as a buy it now for $39.99. Next item actually already sold. You saw me post up this <laughs> sold in the footage video, but I did pick this up at the sale. It was a vintage Eden stuffed animal. Um, some Eden plushies can do really well. This one was a good one. However, it had issues. So other ones were listed close to $200, but mine had a hole in and it just, it wasn't in the best condition. Um, but obviously, you know, people still want them and it was at a much more affordable price. So I paid 25 cents for it and it sold for let me just double check 20 it sold for twenty dollars and fifty cents so it's a shame that there was something wrong with it because i could have asked way more than that but i'm still happy with what i got considering i only paid a quarter for it that same yard sale eric actually purchased this vintage raiders t-shirt it had the all over print on it he paid one dollar for that shirt dollar for that shirt and it sold for a hundred and sixty dollars so that was a great dollar spent i'm not gonna get this out of the packaging but this is one of the avon nativity pieces um that go with that uh, like white bisque ceramic um avon nativity set i know i've mentioned it i think in one of my like avon bolo um, 411 videos. This one is of Gabriel. Uh, we pay one dollar for this at a yard sale and I have it listed as a buy it now for $39.99. And we also picked up this one. So it pretty much looks like this except it's Gabriel. Uh, but this is here. Here's a better depiction of it. But this is what like the nativity pieces look like. They're just like a plain white bisque. Um, and this one here is of a standing angel. We paid $1 for this one. And again, I have this as a buy it now for $39.99. People do collect these. And then like over the years, obviously like when people put these out um, every Christmas, sometimes when they get them out or they're putting them away, they end up getting broken. And then where do they go? They go on eBay to replace their broken ones. So these do sell. All right, and then Eric found these two folk art wooden carved birds at a yard sale. We were super excited about these because um, they were marked on the bottom G Voise, and we remember this name from the folk art auction that we had gone to because we have sold other pieces by the same artist. So this was a really happy find. So this here we paid $5 for, and I listed it as a buy it now for $89.99. And then at the same sale, got this larger one. And again, also signed G. Voise, 1993. So $5 for this, and again, buy it now, $89.99. So had it not been for that folk art auction, we would have had no idea about these. So that's why it's so much fun to learn. Gem doll at a yard sale. Um, she is nude, but that's okay. People do buy nude dolls. A lot of people like um, customized dolls and that type of thing. Gem dolls, I think are hard to find. Like it's very rare that I come across gem dolls out in the wild. So when I saw this, I just decided to, to pick her up. Um, I did pay $2 for her and I listed her as a buy it now for $19.99. She did have on a pair of shoes and these are her shoes, these neon yellow high heeled shoes. So I did list these separately because again, people are looking for replacement pieces and things like that for their dolls. So. And like I said, Gem is a harder to find doll. I listed her shoes as a buy it now for $15.99. I actually have another Gem doll I bought at the same yard sale. I don't have her listed yet because she has the earrings in that flash and I gotta make sure that they work and I don't have the batteries to test them yet. But she was also wearing shoes. She was wearing these cool um, hot pink ankle boots. They're kind of like a rubbery material. 
So I listed the boots again as I buy it now for $15.99. At one yard sale, I found these vintage tube socks by Hanes. So these are definitely older and they were new old stock with this blue coloring. Um, they were Hanes red label tube socks and some vintage undergarments whether that's underwear or socks can sell pretty decently um i found a whole bag of these um i paid five dollars for the entire bag and there were five pairs in here brand new and i listed these as a buy it now for $19.99 a piece so if they all sell that's going to be a great profit so found this vintage tin mushroom recipe box um this is by syndicate manufacturing company is what it says on the bottom so really adorable everyone loves mushrooms they're really hot um, and then the inside there are some like spacer cards and then there was a bunch of these blank these don't match but i just left them in there um, just blank recipe cards with like a tomato border. So I just left them in there for, you know, whoever purchases them. If they want to use them, they can. Uh, but I paid 25 cents for this at the yard sale. And I listed it as a buy it now for $26.99. This was a fun lot. And I'll go through these kind of quick. I found a baggie full of Gumby rubber PVC figures. Gumby is another one of those toys that like I rarely ever come across so I just had to get them. Um, I paid 50 cents for the baggie and I'll go through them really quick so you can see. Um, so there was like a large pokey and then the smaller pokies and then there were a couple different Gumby figures. We got these two. Um, here's two more. Here's another one. Oopsies. And then I I can't remember the names of these ones, but there were two of these guys. Oh, here's another pokey. I mean, this thing was like chock full of little Gumby PVC toys. So 50 cents for that entire bag. And I listed them all together as a buy it now for $19.99. Also found this really cute, kitschy looking ceramic um, little little teddy bears and they are on like a sleigh and this one has like a jingle bell on it's uh, around its neck so super cute this is actually made by nippon and it looks like that the little um like these are on by like uh what do you call it like the pipe cleaners and like the little edges on the backs of the pipe cleaners are a little sharp so gotta be careful with those i paid two dollars paid two dollars for this and I don't have written down what I have it listed for so I paid two dollars for this and I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99 this one was actually a little bit more of a desirable piece I got this vintage necklace this is pretty heavy um this is by Coro it is signed on the little clasp here and it's just a really nice heavy um like linked necklace um this here I'm pretty sure it came from a yard sale. I probably paid maybe a dollar for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. I've seen this sell for way higher than that. I had it on auction, no one bid. So I just relisted it as my starting price. I did end up listing this pineapple ashtray. Um, this is by Treasure Craft, it is marked on the bottom. I picked this up at a yard sale a while back and I think I paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. And this here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this little mini hen on a nest. So it's like a painted, like it looks like it would have been white, but maybe it was painted um, yellow. I'm pretty sure this is Westmoreland and I paid $1 for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $25.99. I got this really nice Santa Claus um, figure at a yard sale. This is signed on the bottom. Um, it was hand painted by Myrna Slabic. She is out of Greencastle, Pennsylvania. So this is dated 1990. 
It's a really nice, um, like primitive looking Santa with like a bushel of apples. I didn't really find much of her stuff listed, but I love the fact that it was a Santa Claus because Christmas is, you know, good. Um, I paid $2 for this and I listed it on auction with a starting price of $25.99. Also, at that same sale, I found this Santa Claus, and I just thought he was so cool looking. I just love the look of him. He definitely seems like he's carved. He's pretty lightweight, um, but he has just this really awesome look to him. Like, he definitely is made to, like, look old type of thing. So I also paid $2 for him, and I listed him on auction with a starting price of $22.99. I do have a little bit of a story to tell about this. So I listed this Santa, like I said, on auction. And I'm the type that I will like look at my, like I'll put in my eBay name and look at my listings after I list stuff to make sure that they're showing up to make sure that like my gallery picture, like the thumbnail picture is showing up, there's no issues, um, that type of thing. So I listened to this and it was not showing up. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just like an eBay glitch or something. So the next morning I look, it's still not showing up. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna end this and relist it. So I did still not showing up. The only thing I can think of is that there must be something that when you list something that maybe it gets like listings get flagged possibly. And the only thing I can think of that's making this become like a flagged thing where like, you know, someone from eBay actually has to take a look at the auction, make sure everything is like legit and okay. I'm assuming like this is being flagged as maybe a um, like an adult toy type of thing. That's the only thing I can think of as to why this is happening is because of the shape of it. So needless to say, it's still not showing up. And if it is not showing up by like mid afternoon tomorrow or evening, I'm gonna get a hold of eBay for business and see what can be done about it because you know, I'm putting it on auction, so all of that time is not really being accounted for um, while it's not showing because people obviously can't find it if it's not showing. So it's really kind of frustrating me because it's just a Santa Claus. It is not a B plug or anything like that. So like, I have no idea like why <laughs> this is happening to my Santa Claus figure, but very frustrating. You guys have to let me know if anything like that has been happening to you recently. I feel like eBay is so glitchy lately. Like it's just, it's working on my nerves and it's literally not making me want to list right now. Okay, enough of that. Um, I have a, <laughs> this is a Madame Alexander um, little Peter Pan doll. I thought this was so stinking cute. Found this at a yard sale for $1. And I listed it for a buy it now of $12.99. And I included the doll stand as well because I don't need it. I found a vintage Dawn doll at the yard sale. This again is another toy I rarely come across are the Dawn dolls. She does have this pretty significant foot issue, uh, but she does come with some red boots that were hiding that significant foot issue, which I didn't see it. Um, I only paid a dollar for her, but I figure like, um, even just her dress is worth, worth paying the dollar for in all honesty. So got her for a dollar and I listed her on auction with a starting price of $9.99. I got this T3 uh, volumizer heat brush. I picked this up at a yard sale. I think I pay maybe $5 for it. And I listed it as a buy it now for $39.99. Also got this vintage Casio little keyboard at a yard sale. I've been dropping like everything lately today. <laughs> um, so it comes with an adapter as well. I think I also paid like four or $5 for this. And I listed this one as a buy it now for $79.99. These were selling pretty well. I got this pair of Allegria um, shoes. These are really cute. Uh, these are like a floral 
with this like rainbow color absolutely beautiful these are like orthopedic type of shoes um brand new still in the box these ones are a size oh and it even comes this is cute it even comes with a little um shoe keychain that's so adorable um these are a size 38 which hold on let me check my listing i'll tell you what size that is so these are a size 38 which is a size eight or eight and a half so these here came from an auction i believe i think i paid maybe ten dollars for them and i have these listed as a buy it now for 59 dollars and 99 cents I also got these Tory Burch knee-high leather boots. These are absolutely beautiful in like brand new condition. I really debated on keeping these for myself, but I didn't really need another pair of boots. I have so many of them, uh, but these are absolutely gorgeous. I got these at a yard sale. I think I got these last year at a yard sale, but I debated on keeping them and I didn't wear them at all last year. So that means definitely have to sell since I'm not wearing them. I think I paid about, I want to say $20 for them. Um, it might have been $40, but I know it wasn't more than that. And I listed these as a buy it now for $169.99. I got this P. Buckley Moss Museum um, coffee mug. This is by Deenan Pottery. Still has this little tag in there. Um, really nice coffee mug i got this at a yard sale i paid one dollar for it still have the price tag on um i'm probably gonna put this in our future antique booth because around here um p buckley moss is a pretty like desirable artist Eric also picked up these old metal um wind chimes at the yard sale he paid four dollars for those and those sold for a hundred and forty two dollars and ninety nine cents and I found this really cool old Santa Claus clip-on ornament. We haven't listed this or anything. I'm not quite sure if we're keeping it or listing it yet. So I didn't do anything with it. Um, I'm pretty sure we paid a dollar for this. So just don't know what we're doing with it yet. Well, in my next yard sale footage video, I got a ton of toured clothes. Like my back seat of my car was just a, a heaping mound of torrid. Um, I stopped at one yard sale and so much torrid clothes, a dollar a piece. So I pretty much just bought like every single piece that was there. Um, so I'm just going to show one piece of it right now because my next haul is going to be a lot, a lot of torrid. So if you love torrid and you're a size three in torrid or a size four in torrid and i think there were a couple of size two in torrid definitely take a look at my ebay listings because i have a lot listed and i still have more to list so this is one of the tops it is a tank top with this really pretty plaid um design on it this is a size four so a dollar for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $22.99. So most of the Torrid I've been listing um, from $19.99 to, um, trying to think of like, I think $25.99 is like my highest price right now on the Torrid um, pieces. Um, but I got like tank tops, dresses, sweaters, um, lots of tops. Um, a couple pairs of pants. I think the pants are a size 24 short length. Um, so I do have a couple pair of pants. Um, and then as far as for me, because I do like showing the stuff that I pick up for myself, I got this um, tank top here. This is by a company called Mellow Day. I don't know. I've never heard of this brand before. But I thought this was so cute. It's just this little tank top with... Um, this blue floral print i just thought it was cute so i got this for one dollar i believe i paid i also picked up this tupperware deviled egg container um i have one of these that is in that like 
like the Tupperware color that these deviled egg trays are usually in, um, which is fine. It was the color that my mom had and everything like that, but this is just so much more up my alley. I love the colors of this. It totally reminds me of the 90s with the teal top and the pink bottom. And like even the inside, the trays are like yellow. It's amazing. I just, the colors of this bring me so much joy and I had never seen one before in this, this color. So I had to get it. I paid $1 for that. So I might still hang on to the one that I have um, just in case I would need it if I ever need to make like a ton of deviled eggs, but I don't know. Maybe I'll sell it, but I don't think that they're worth like a whole lot. I have this baggie that had that clown ornament in and this had some old Japan like pine cone gnomes in and I collect these things. I have so many of them, but I love them. Um, some of these do have issues. This one actually looks to be in pretty decent condition, um, but it was just a, a baggie full of these. So I'll show them to you real quick. Uh, this one definitely needs to be like this one's so cool he's got mushrooms on his base but you can see he kind of needs like glued back down a little bit because he's just like all over the place so these do need some loving care then there was this guy who appears to be in decent enough condition so him and then <laughs> there was this guy who his base is in there like he his hat is in there his hat needs to be reattached and then this would have been his base because there's his other his other foot so he needs glued and then the only other thing in there was like a, a base to another one but there wasn't another one so I don't know I might hang on to that just in case I find one without a base then I can glue it onto a base um but like I said I collect these so um I'm probably just going to hang on to them and fix them as best as I can and try to put them in my Christmas decorations uh this coming Christmas so it was a dollar for the bag so I still think that was a great deal for those uh, but that is everything for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought down in the comments and I will see you next time.